Hello, everyone. Yeah. Chandras, thank God you're woo-woo. Now I don't feel so woo-woo. Because uh, every time I do these things, I'm the techie mystic. And uh, <laughs> last one, 40, I spoke. I said, put your devices down, you know. So um, I'd love it if you all would indulge me. You guys up for a little play? Yeah. Because I come from a realm that we're here for a soul playground. That every one of us is having an experience as a soul. Not really as a human being, but as a spiritual being with a soul. And your body is an outpicturing of the soul. So you're actually perfect as you are. With all your faults, with all your quirks, I'm kind of quirky. The, the great awakening is that we're actually perfect. But we kind of didn't get given that message. I always say with my clients, um, especially the ones that um, did everything right, they went to the right school, Harvard, etc., etc. they married, they did everything, and they get to a certain age and they go, oh my God, I'm not happy. I'm like, yeah, you got the rule book. Yeah, you got the manual. And they're like, what manual? I go, the one that doesn't work. <laughs> so, social media, actually all technology, but specifically social media, is a way of busting through that. It's a way of people now getting more in touch with, through self-expression, because that's the realm of the soul. The soul is all about self-expression. You know, contrary to belief, you're not here because, you know, last lifetime you didn't do well, or learning lessons. We're actually here to create. We're creative beings. So we're actually here to just be ourselves and create. And how do we be ourselves? Through our expression, through love, connecting, sharing, everything that the, are the tenets of social media. Uh, years ago, I developed um, a meditation program for Agape Spiritual Center. Um, they use my books and CDs. And I am totally a techie. I mean, I, I talk about early adapter. I had um, my first website in 1999. I was doing sound editing, my own meditation CDs. Three o'clock in the morning, I made my own little, in 97, made my own little sound studio. Bugged all my DJ friends, God, show me how to edit, how do you use Pro Tools, you know? But through doing that, CD Baby came along. I had this vision, I'm gonna be on iTunes. You know, I was even gonna go to Steve Jobs or write a letter and say, you can't just have, you know, top musicians on iTunes, you need to have people that do spoken word or meditation. It was unheard of. But six, six months, seven months later, get a letter from CD Baby saying, we partnered with iTunes. So now you're getting this digital distribution. Um, how many of you remember the, the 90s and what the internet was like? Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I had so many people in my field telling me, you're gonna get ripped off, Michelle. They're gonna steal your content. You know, how do you know they're gonna pay you? And I was so excited because I said, I have so many meditations, so many processes, so many songs in my head, who cares, let them take the content. I'm still getting digital moolah, you know what I mean? But for me, it was fun. But back then, it was like hardly anybody was really, you know, except for maybe marketers, were really utilizing the internet, right? I remember with some of my techie friends that start had startups, and they were all you know wowed about chat rooms. You guys remember? Was it chat room? Yeah. So I would go in there. I didn't care about meeting somebody. I didn't want to pick it. You know what I was doing? Readings. I said, I bet I can do a psychic reading on these people just by their energy, because that's all we are. So all these people would flood in the chat room, and I was giving them readings, and they're like, How do you do that? by connecting into the internet, by not seeing and feel my, feeling myself so separate. Because the truth is we're not really separate. We're separated out, but we're all really one. You know, and not in like a mamby pamby way, but we are really all from one source. So, you guys wanna play? I wanna do a little soul playground. You ready to indulge me a little bit? One thing we're gonna do just to kinda align in 
is we're going to do a what we call meditation process, and it connects to the heart chakra. And this is a great thing to do if you're ever having a day where you just kind of can't get going, or you don't know what to do. This, I get this question asked all the time because I help people find their soul's purpose and thrive with it. And they're like, how do I know I'm on the right path? You know, or if I'm making the right decision. Two things. If you feel caved in and you're losing energy, which is called innervating, wrong time, wrong path, wrong decision. Everything you do should revitalize you, should invigorate you. Okay, maybe not like dishes or taxes or, you know, that kind of stuff. But for the most part, you should feel, wow, I really want to do this. So if you're making a decision and it's coming from, I need to do that or that's the right thing to market myself or do, and you're caving in, that's your higher self or your inner knowing saying, wrong, wrong decision. You should have a sense of opening. The other thing is you should feel like a tingle in the heart. So we're going to do something right now. We're all going to say, and I'll start it. You're just simply going to go, ah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> What's being activated? Uh. The heart. Uh. So if you can't decide what you want to do, or you're trying to get going or motivated, maybe you're tired, maybe you've had a long day or a long week, or going through a lot of turmoil, just simply stop, take a deep breath in, and uh, uh, How many feel that? Good, you ready to play a little more? You wanna get really out there? Come on, come on, <laughs> come on, let's do it. Okay, so get, I want you guys to get as comfortable as you can. And, and put, you know, packages, purses on the ground. And you're going to close your eyes. And I want you first now to bring your awareness to the bottom of the feet. And just play. You can put the devices down. You can tweet later. Just play. Let's just play around with this. Come on. Good. Now I want you, with your eyes closed, you're going to adjust your body for more relaxation. And you're going to breathe in for a count of three. And you're going to pause for a count of three as you go deeper inside. And then you're going to release the breath for a count of three. And breathe in again for a count of three in your own pace and patterning. Pause for a count of three. And then release the breath for a count of three. And breathe in again for a count of three. Pause for a count of three. Go a little deeper inside and then release the breath for a count of three. Now with your eyes closed, you're going to bring your awareness to the left side of your body. And just feel the left side of your body. And now you're going to extend your attention and focus a foot to the left. So your eyes are still closed and I want you to feel the energy of the left side of the body and now the space. And extend your attention and focus all the way to the left as far as you can. Keep extending even further and further using your conscious awareness. Now you're going to bring your awareness to the right side of the body and feel the right side of your body. And now even though your eyes are closed with your conscious attention and focus, you're going to extend your energy all the way to the right. A foot, two feet, three feet. Keep extending all the way to the right as far as you can. And now bring your awareness to the back of the body. And those of you who are sitting, just notice the energy behind the back of the body as you're leaning against the chair. And extend your attention and focus an inch beyond the back of the body. Now two inches, a foot, three feet. Now extend your attention and focus all the way behind you as far as you can. And now bring your attention and focus to the bottom half of the body specifically the feet, and go beyond the floor. Bring your attention and focus 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet, as far as you can below you. And now bring your attention and focus in front of you to the heart, lung area, to the chest, and feel the body there. 
And now extend your attention and focus an inch, two inches, a foot, three feet in front of you as far as you can. And now bring your attention and focus to the top of the head, which we call that crown chakra. You're going to extend your attention and focus upward an inch, two inches, a foot, two feet, three feet. Keep extending upward and outward as far as you can. Extend your attention and focus upward and outward even more. And now bring your awareness in front of you and just feel the energy. You're connecting to the subtle energy, which is the truth of who you are beyond the denser physical body. Now go ahead and open your eyes and notice how you feel. So you just had an experience of the internet, and the internet is reflected or symbolized by the internet. So the outpicturing of consciousness is having us all awaken to the interconnectedness of who we are, that we're not just this denser physical body, but we are in fact the whole universe. And that is why we have inventions and innovation, innovations. This is how, when you're connected, when you recognize your connection, this is how you connect to synchronistic experiences and your life becomes magical and mystical. Because you no longer believe you're alone. You recognize and feel the interconnectedness. And so in that state of awareness of that internet, this is where you're guided and directed. So in essence, technology is an outpicturing, or the social media is an outpicturing of our interconnectedness or the internet, which is through the subtle energy which you experienced. But at the same token, through social media, we are experiencing this interconnectedness. So it's twofold. It's representing or showing us, hey, you're connected. That person sitting next to you has a lot more in common with you than what you think. And that's the way we're meant to be living. How many of you felt? Did you feel something different? Anybody? Yeah, over here? Hi. What'd you feel? I felt the energy from these people next to me. I love and I love the love Nice. So you can feel that love energy. Well, the bind, what we call metaphysically the binding principle of the universe is, Lori Moreno would know this, love. Everything is, a, is love in varying degrees. Everything. Some is a lot, some a lot less. One minute, I'm getting wrapped up. <laughs> so I hope that this has um, opened you more just to the possibilities and the truth of who you are. Um, I find these 140 conferences just amazing. Not really conference, connecting. And I um, have to thank Jeff and Deborah and uh, David and all of you for letting me share and be a part of this heart-centered experience. Thank you so much.